does he know how to play the U.S. media? Um, because by the end of that whole thing, he was saying that in order to get rid of his chemical weapons, the U.S. would probably have to supplement him, oh, about a billion dollars. Of course! So we're telling him, hey, dude, we can come over there with and drop a bunch of pills on your sites and put a lot of infrastructure damage over there for you if you don't knock it off and get rid of your chemical weapons. Okay, I'll do it, but give me a billion dollars. <laughs> Frank Zavalto with us today from the New Media Journal, and uh, that that was quite a uh, that was quite a spirited little debate there uh, with uh, with Gail Allen on housing. Uh, uh, thanks for I, I, I don't, thanks for being I involved in that. That's all right. I, I don't think she was uh, she was she was looking for the anti-government stance yeah. that I took, but uh, but no. But honestly, you asked me a question in that last segment about the service that she that she provides, and yes, yeah. it's very important. I mean, there are people out there today who are just seeing house house i get to have a house and we sign the papers and how many papers do i have to sign and cool i got a house and they don't really understand what they've signed see that's 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 i think the big problem <laughs> i think that's well, a yeah, big it, problem it, it, it's absolutely a problem and when you're putting down 10 percent when you're putting down maybe 25%, I yeah. mean, to get in trouble, yeah, when you're thinking about the math as a layman, you're going, well, if I lose 20%, that was a risk. I'm willing to take that for the house. But they don't understand that, you know, when foreclosure comes around, uh, if you get a judgment against you, they can go after you for the remaining amount after they auction off your house in a default judgment. You know, so the average person who put down $20,000, $30,000 on a house uh, they end up selling the house for much less than a depressed market could be on the hook for $150,000, dollars and, and depending on what stage you are in your life, that can be a game changer. Now, it seems to me that uh, the, the housing market, uh, especially this week with uh, Bernanke coming out, and uh, she, she seemed to be fairly excited and, uh, about the various things that uh, Bernanke's been doing, and you take the approach of not being excited – Break that down a little bit more for me. Whenever the Fed prints money or buys bonds, it's buying bonds with something that it's not measured against. We moved off the gold standard in the 1970s. Yep. So what they're doing is manipulating the worth of the dollar. Every single time that they've had another bond buy or they've, or they've instituted another round of quantitative easing, which is pretty much printing of money, mm -hmm. we're, we're devaluing the dollar for everybody who's saved. So people's 401ks go down, you know, people's savings go down, the worth of the dollar, the, the amount you can buy at the food store goes down when you dilute the money. The major danger in this is when foreign money markets and foreign countries start looking at this going, you know what, all they're doing is printing money and, and it's, <laughs> it's devaluating the dollar, it's, 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 it's artificially manipulating our currency overseas, let's get rid of the dollar as the world reserve currency. If they ever do that, and, and China has, has already started looking with other countries like Australia, and, and, and Russia's been looking with the Koreas about just doing one-on-one -on -one trading from the yen to their currency, when they get rid of the American dollar as the reserve currency, what I mean by reserve currency is it's, it's the unit that all money is actually translated against. So if yen was going to go to the drachma, they would put it into American dollars first, figure it out, and then go over to the drachma. If the dollar, if they ever move away from the dollar, we're going to need wheelbarrows full of dollars in order to buy a loaf of bread. We're going to see the same thing that happened in, in Germany pre-World War II. Wow. Uh, the the, the dollar is going to lose its value by leaps and bounds, and then the debt that, that everyone on the left side of the aisle says you really shouldn't worry too much about the debt. You shouldn't worry too much about the debt. Then the debt becomes concrete because you can't print money to pay it anymore, which means when interest comes due from China, they want the money. Really? So this, when you're diluting dollars, and, and here's another thing. Ben Bernanke is with the Federal Reserve Bank. It is a private entity that, that, that deals with the American currency. It's a private entity that controls that government interest of the Treasury. We're not allowed to audit it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And, that and that's I what, did not know. I'm, I'm not a, a gigantic Ron Paul fan. I, I think he's absolutely stone-cold wrong on foreign policy. But he's been calling for an audit of the Fed 
ever since I can remember, and that's something he's absolutely right on. We should be auditing that thing. They should be answerable to the American people and at least the Congress of the United States. Uh, you know, if <laughs> they're doing whatever they want, and we just have to eat it and smile. Wow. <laughs> that I did not know anything about. So yeah. I've learned a hell of a lot of things today, and it, actually I'm kind of scared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Frank Savalto with us today from the New Media Journal. You can get more information over there at uh, newmediajournal.us. Now, what, what are some of the big things you're uh, working on over there? I understand you're probably going to have a, a, a great editorial up there this weekend at some point. Well, the, the big story this week has to be that the House is advancing a uh, continuing resolution for the budget that's going to fund government but defund Obamacare. They've, they've made that choice, and they're moving forward with it. Uh, we're going to see what happens in the Senate. I, ex I firmly expect Harry Reid to strip that from whatever they want to send back to the House, and then it's going to be if the House stands firm. If the House stands firm on that, then and this I can't be more clear about this than, than the, what I'm going to say right now. If the House stands firm on the bill that originated from their House of Congress, that we are going to fund the government, but we're not funding Obamacare because certain people are going to be affected and other people aren't, which means it's an inequitable tax, because that's what the Supreme Court said it was, a yeah. tax. Okay? It will be Harry Reid or Barack Obama who shuts down government, son not a, the Republicans. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, even, though, even though that's the case, you've got both Barack Obama and Harry Reid out there saying the Republicans want to shut down government. The, Harry Reid and Barack Obama can keep government open if they just don't lay down on the sword for Obamacare. Nobody likes it. 68% of the country hates it once it repealed, once it removed. Yet these ideologues are shoving it down our throats. The House is finally listening to the American people, saying we're not funding it. If these people would just let it go and go back to the drawing board and do it honestly instead of behind closed doors with union leaders, then, go, then everything would be fine. But they're going to shut government down to say that the evil Republicans want to keep you from having health care. Oh, and by the way, Obama cares about the takeover of the health insurance industry. It has nothing to do with health care. Well, Frank, you, you, you've left us with some, uh, some tremendous things to think about, and I look forward to chatting with you next Thursday. Check out newmediajournal.us. And, uh, Frank, once again, thanks for being on with us today, brother. We'll talk to you next Thursday, man. Definitely, man. Have a good one. Later. It is the world-famous Cheeky Check While You Show. It is coast-to-coast, to, coast to border to border, all over the world wide web, and all 50.